Hey, what's up? Welcome to my channel. Tonight we're watching Indiana Jones, The Temple of Doom. I really liked the first part, so I am excited to see what adventure he goes on next. But in the comments of Raiders of the Ark, I was warned that if I get offended easily, maybe I should not watch it or I should be prepared. I don't get offended that easily. But yeah, I was told because of the way they've represented India in this movie, apparently. And, you know, I know that there are a lot of stereotypes whenever we think of not just one country, whenever we think of some other country that we don't live in, we have some sort of stereotype of how they live or they think or they do things that happens with everybody and everything. So yeah, can't do anything about that. And this came out a long time ago, so I'm pretty sure it was much worse at that time. I don't know. But the point is that I don't get offended that easily. And if it is as bad as some people said, then maybe today is a test and I get to find out if I get offended that easily or not. But yeah, I don't. So let's see what this movie is about. And without any delay, let's just get right into it. Please tell me those are real lyrics and not just gibberish. Now I'm confused. Is this related to the plot or are they just, is this just some weird intro? I like it either way. Shanghai 1935. Oh yeah, you guys told me that this one is a prequel. I forgot about that. This one is a prequel. Hindi? Yeah. It is true. You found Mulachi. You know I did. Aren't you going to introduce us? I thought archaeologists were always funny little men searching for their mommies. Mommies. <laughs> Say, who is this Nurha? Hachi. Yeah, who is this Norachi? What is Norachi? You give me what you owe me, or anything goes. <gasps> the diamond, Lao. The deal was for the diamond. Why the drink? He put two holes in my dress from Paris. Sit down! This Norachi's a real small guy. Is she supposed to look like um, the dumb blonde? Is she acting like that, you know, stereotype again? And maybe she's really smart, smarter than everybody else on the table. <laughs> and now you give me the diamond. She's gonna run away with the diamond and the Narachi. Antidote to the poison you just Antidote. drank. The poison you just drank. <laughs> <laughs> See, I knew something was fishy when they offered you the drink. <laughs> Good service here. Find <gasps> the great unknown mystery. I go first, Indy. Diamond, the antidote, everything is just. Ugh. It's like that scene from Russia R2 where he's trying to get the detonator to the bomb in his mouth. Where's the diamond? <laughs> Oh, I forgot the actor's name. The 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 the. Oh, 
God, I know, I know who that is. I know because they reunited at the Oscars a year ago, two years ago. I was saying that it reminded me of Star Wars and you guys told me because both were composed by John Williams but when I was editing it reminded me of Jurassic Park so I looked it up and also by John Williams so that makes sense. Still not awake. Oh no. <laughs> oh, wake up, please. Did you get there already? Oh. No, you're gonna crash. No one's flying the plane! Lord. You know how to fly, don't you? Hmm? No. Do you? Fuel. No fuel? Fuel. Oh. Don't jinx it. Oh. Ah, the boat came in handy. I hate being wet and I hate you! Good! Are you okay? India. How do you know that? Ah. How do you know that and I don't? Does he know him? What happened? What well, language are they speaking? They're not speaking Hindi, but there are many languages in India, so. Oh, sure, I'll this means dinner. I can't eat this. Eat it. Eat it. His face. I'm a professor. I have to get back to my university. You will go to Bangkok Palace. I thought the palace had been deserted since. No, that place killed my people. What has happened here? All over the country. The evil. Bad news. You listen to so one who you live on. It is why Shiva brought you here. <laughs> we weren't brought here. Plane. We crashed. crashed here. It crashed. Shiva is an Indian god, by the way. Just, it's pretty clear from the context. I don't know why I'm telling you that. It's copying him. So cute. They took the stone from here. I've seen stones like the one you lost. Where? Why would Maharaja take Singh when the sacred stone was taken? The village wells dried up and the river turned to sand. They do right now. When they came back, the women were crying in the darkness. Children. What? Oh. It says they stole their children. Oh. That doesn't sound very nice. Oh, there is one of the kids. What happened? <laughs> Shankara. Little boy escaped from the evil palace. Hmm. Did you shut 
so cute. He's so cute. Now that we we know him as all grown up, he's so cute. He's still very cute. Fortune and glory, kid. Fortune and glory. Yeah, that would be me. <laughs> she looks so horrified. <laughs> Why are they out in the day? You really need a bath. Oh. Oh. My friends, we were rich. We went to party. I think we'll camp here tonight. I thought she was like a double agent or something. Like she was on a mission and she was pretending to be just this singer to try to get the diamonds out maybe or the monument. Turns out she was just genuinely, yeah. I caught him trying to pick my pocket, didn't I, short stuff? <gasps> hey, you cheat, Dr. Jones, you cheat. Cheat very big. Oh my god. Dr. Jones, you cheat. You pay money, you owe me 10 cents. <laughs> the poor girl is dying there. <gasps> what the hell is that? What do you think you did? Ripped his trunk off? That's it. Pankot Palace. Hmm. What? Bats are so creepy. You look rather lost. But then I cannot imagine where in the world the three of you would look at home. Dr. Jones, the eminent archaeologist. Hard to believe, isn't it? Ah. <laughs> we are fortunate. I was trying so hard to understand what the people in the background were saying if they were talking in Hindi. The British worry so about their empire. Makes us all feel like well cared for children. Hmm. You look beautiful. His Highness has not yet taken a wife. How interesting. Well, uh, maybe it's because he hasn't found the right woman. <laughs> his Supreme Highness! Oh, his baby. Kid. It seems the British never forget the mutiny of 1857. <laughs> this area, this province, was the center of activity for the Fuggy. Why is there a snake? Ah, what are you doing? Oh, what? Ah, what is he doing? Why is he doing that? I suppose stories told us Panko Palace was growing powerful again because of some ancient evil. Yeah, that was some evil stuff. What the hell is wrong with you? not eating. I had bugs for lunch. <laughs> you know, the villagers also told us... I had us bugs for lunch. <laughs> Do you have anything simple, like soup? 
not soup made out of insects or animals. That's gonna be something fishy. <laughs> what are they eating? Why are they eating all that stuff? Wasn't it the Sultan of Madagascar who threatened to cut your head off if you ever returned to the country? Oh. I thought the stories were told to frighten children. Later I learned the thuggy cult was once real. This will never happen again in my kingdom. Mm. Even the music stopped when the Maharaja was speaking. That's power. Ah, dessert. Yeah. I don't even... Oh, what the... Why? Chilled a monkey brain. <gasps> no! I am not watching that. Oh. <sighs> I've got something for you. Fruits? Oh, really? Maybe you could be my palace slave. <laughs> I'm a scientist. So as a scientist, you do a lot of research? As a scientist, I don't want to prejudice my experiment. I'll let you know in the morning. <laughs> and you're just too proud to admit that you're crazy about me, Dr. Jones. You'll be back over here in five minutes. You'll be asleep in five minutes. Five. Four and a half. <laughs> Oh, oh. I believe I'm not going. Oh. Kid. They're all such heavy sleepers. They just don't wake up. No matter how much noise something makes. This is the night I slipped right through your fingers! Huh? <laughs> I don't think anybody's in her room. She's not dangerous. You are. Nobody here. No, I'm here. Don't tell me you have to touch the... Hey, I'm right here. <laughs> oh. Shorty, go get our stuff. Step where I step, and don't touch anything. Hey, you're not stepping where he's stepping, and you're touching things. I touch nothing. Liar. I step on something. Bones. Oh, don't tell me there are it's not bones. Yeah, I think those are bones. Skulls. Ah, that is much worse. Oh my god, I wish it was bones. Uh, I'm really wishing those were bones now. How are you so calm? <laughs> because he stepped on that. Just Stand up against the wall, will you? Oh. Oh. get all dirty again. How is she gonna cross the insects? Huh? Oh. 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 There are two dead people down here! There's gonna be two dead people in here. Don't look, don't look, don't look, don't look, just keep going. Oh my god. Oh my 
Not again. Oh, your hat. Ugh. He's really ready to risk it for his hat. Oh my god. The insects. <sighs> they said something evil is happening. Have you ever seen anything like this before? Nobody's seen this for a hundred years. Oh. I didn't know he was in a Hollywood movie. Finally, Hindi! Finally, I can understand. Yeah, he's literally telling him that they're gonna sacrifice him. Oh, how is that guy still alive? <laughs> now I have his life in my hand, translating for you. Still alive. Yeah, how is he still alive? What are they doing? inside them glow <laughs> now she's interested <laughs> and keep quiet shorty you keep an eye on her why where are you going down there down there are you crazy you could get killed chasing after your damn fortune and glory maybe the stones are really important to these guys Is everybody gone nobody's guarding the stones glow when they're together not when they're apart from each other so are you gonna take all three huh. who is screaming Kids, the kids that they kidnapped. Oh, poor kids. Oh, I pray to Shiva, let me die, but I do not. Mm -hmm. Now, we'll be alive, but like a nightmare. You drink blood, you not wake up from nightmare. Thieves like me, huh? ha, still missing, too. They're innocent children. They dig for the gems to support our cause. You don't believe me? You will, Dr. Jones. No. You're gonna make him drink the, the blood? Oh, that is some black magic stuff. Whoa. You dare not do that. Oh, no. oh. no, baby. Oh. 
All the little kids. Huh. <laughs> Oh, is he gonna sacrifice Jones now? I mean, obviously that's not gonna happen, but is he gonna try to sacrifice him now? Ali Ma protects us with an offering of flesh. Whose flesh? Oh, she was so happy in Shanghai, partying with her friends. She had a little house with a garden. Now she will not talk. Is he actually in a trance or is he acting, just waiting for the right moment? Good job. Won't be able to cast that kid. Yeah. <laughs> he did not take her a heart out. Ah, good job. Yeah, snap out of it. <laughs> it's good that all of those guys are on the other side, so they can't really do anything other than, you know, they can't help in the fight. <laughs> oh. That was really close. That must have been so hot. Feel like it won't be that easy. All of us. Yes. Kill them. Oh. I think it really needs you. Okay, safe. Ooh. Oh, run. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Mm, good. That's cheating. Here, try this. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, I know he's gonna be fine, but <laughs> there you go. 
<laughs> Follow them. Subtitles. Me. That's a crazy roller coaster ride. Is that doing something? Yeah. Ooh. He said they're gonna die a rat's death. <laughs> Whoa. Nice punch. Whoa. Right. There is like um, so many places it's just not on the ground. There is like this volcano down there. So how is the water going to follow them? Isn't it going to fall down? You're gonna get water. Too much water. <laughs> Come on, after all that you've been through. This bridge should be the easiest thing. Don't, don't jump. <laughs> Look. It's so cute. <laughs> Can't pull the same move again. <laughs> it's like that scene where he was running after once one, two stormtroopers, and then there were so many, and then they were like running back. Let her go, Molaram! You are in a position unsuitable to give orders. You want the stones? Let them go! Huh. They will be found! You won't! <laughs> that was a power move. Like, you want to drop them? Just drop them. Hang on, lady, we go for a ride! No! Do you see any other option? He's gonna ask them to start shooting arrows at you too. Oh. Yeah. 
Two stones in the water, one to take back to the village. Yeah. Well, it's about time. <laughs> Run away, your leader is dead. No, he was alive. Obviously he's alive. There he is. Coming back when life fit into our village. I understand its power now. It's a long way to Delhi. <laughs> <laughs> no thanks. No more adventures with you, Dr. Joe. Excuse me, sir. I need a guide to Delhi. If you could show me the way. <laughs> oh. Elephant. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Fun fact about the actor, Amrish Puri, who played the villain in this movie. Um, there was this movie called Mr. India. It came out in 1980 something. It came out in the late 80s. I think my mom was like 17, 18 at the time. And when she watched that movie, he played a villain in that one too. And when she watched that movie, she was scared of him for a really, really long time. That was a very big movie. That was a big hit. Like, I wasn't even born at that time, and even when I grew up, I knew about that movie. It was, it was a big deal. And my mom was really scared of him for a really, really long time. I think it's a fun fact about my mom, not the actor. Huh. We see in the beginning, they said Lanka. And now that I've looked it up, the movie was shot in Sri Lanka because the Indian government did not approve of filming in the country. Yeah, they were speaking in a language called Sinhala and it's not a language, it's not one of the spoken languages in India. It's only spoken in Sri Lanka. Hmm. That's why I couldn't understand what they were saying in the beginning. In that village when they were talking, I had no idea what they were saying. Sri Lanka is a different country. But then the palace situation they were talking in hindi that's why i understood everything that they were saying you know i was thinking that if it's said in india most probably it would be in hindi and i would be able to understand everything that they're saying so i was really shocked when they started talking in that language and i was like no not going as i planned anyways this movie had a lot of comedy in it a lot of moments where you laugh out loud but at the same time, it was very serious. I love it when there are movies that, you know, it's a serious story, it's, you know, a lot is happening, but at the same time, they make you laugh. I really, really like that. I really liked the female lead in this movie. I don't know, she was, she was just, she was really fun. She was really fun. At, at the beginning, I thought she was, very, you know, clever and she had some plan and she was just playing dumb, you know, not being aware of the danger that she is in in Shanghai when the movie started. But then slowly you realize, no, she she literally was not aware of all the things, you know, she's just, she, just a normal singer, nothing to do with any of these things. So she was so much fun. If she turned out to be a villain or maybe a badass character like I was thinking one of those two things I think it would have still been fun but yeah now that I've seen this I prefer this more just she was just you know bringing in a lot of comedy you know she was expressing the way we were feeling with the insects and the snake eating and the monkey brains and oh, all of that stuff yeah. The fact that she was able to walk through all those insects after realizing and they were just crawling all over her and she still managed to 
open the trap door for them is insane. Like I would have ran out of there in a second. It would have been an impulsive decision to just run out of there. So yeah, that was so creepy. I thought the spiders in the first one was, ugh. And the snakes, no, this was much worse. That was the stuff of nightmares. These movies are so, so fun. Just You just have a really good time when you're watching these movies. And I love that. I'll just call him Kay because I know I'm gonna butcher his name. Yeah, loved watching him. He was so cute. He's still very cute, you know, even in Everything Everywhere all at once. So cute. He's just really sweet, really cute, yeah, but baby K, so much fun to watch him and thank you so much for watching this with me, I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did please go ahead like and subscribe, turn on the notification bell and I'll see you soon.